All right, so this is, um, is it recording? Oh, it's recording, all right. So this is uh, Benjamin of Radio Mac, yeah. and we are inside the premises of Radio Mac. They're interviewing me between now and then, um, 8.45, so yeah. listen. We'll come back to Accra and show you all the good things we did in Bolga and Wa. We went to Bolga first, now we are in Wa. We left Drapa, we are back to Wa. Yeah. Nice trip, enjoy it. All right, so inside Mac FM, and then you can see the wonderful DJ, and that is my friend Benjamin. So, all right, so that is Mark. That is Ben. 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 Benjamin, say hi to them. Hi. And then, postman DJ, say hi to them. Hi. Great. 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 So, Mr. Smooth is right here in Wa Mac FM. We're going to be talking about the usual stuff. Nothing. You know, we always promise you nothing but the best. My name is Benjamin Joy. Call me DJ Benny. So, we are going to talk about broken relationships. Some of the things that we have. Mr. Smooth, you are most welcome. Thank you very much. Mm, yeah, we are so grateful to have you, and uh, we also thank God for your journey messages. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in fact, we are so blessed to have you this evening, and I, I want to believe that your being here is not in vain. Definitely, you are going to make an impact in the life of the people of the Upper West Region, and uh, we are so grateful. Once again, you are most welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, that was the voice of Mr. Smooth, like I mentioned earlier on, he's here to educate us on some of the things that lead uh, to broken relationships or broken homes here in the municipality. You all can testify it, uh, that it's one of the things that, that, that is killing us here in Upper West Region. Yeah, Mr. Smooth, when you come down here in the Upper West Region, it's one of the terrible problems that we are facing here. Before I answer the question, let me let probably those who are a little confused about mm. me yeah. get to understand that it's the same person you see on GH1 Duvet, okay. Mr. Smooth, the same person you see on Adults Class on mm. GNTV every Wednesday 10 p.m. Mm. The same person. And if you really want to verify if it is me, go to my YouTube channel, mm. Papa Kwamuna, Mr. Smooth, and you see some of the videos and some of the works that I've done. Now to the question, why most relationships are breaking up? There are some basic things that break up relationships. Mm. The first one is communication. Okay. When communication is bad, you relationship your relationship will last. That's the first one. Okay. Two, when you have financial issues, the relationship won't last. Okay. When you're having financial issues. And then the third key issue is when you're having sexual problems. Wow. Your relationship won't last. Why is communication a big problem? Most people don't communicate. They talk at each other. They don't talk to each other. Now, talking at each other and talking to each other are two different things. Mm -hmm. Simply because when you talk at the person, then you are attacking the person. Okay. When you are talking to the person, then you are communicating in a way you expect the person to understand. Mm -hmm. So we need to know when you are talking to a person, and when you are talking at the person. When you are talking at the person, you are talking out to the person's character, to mm. the person's face. Mm. You are not necessarily dealing with the problem that you have at hand. You are then putting the blame on the other party. But you forget that most times, when there is a relationship problem, it is coming from both parties. And both parties have played a role and contributed to the particular problem that you are having. And it pays for both of you to understand that I played a role, she played a role, and let's all come together and understand. So instead of reacting to communication, you need to respond. Reacting to communication is like taking a drug, and then after you take the drug, you eat. Okay. You are reacting to it. So the same way the person communicates with you, instead of trying to understand what the person is saying, you rather react. Reacting simply means you become angry, you become agitated, and most times you assume. You assume things that you are thinking that the person might have done 
or intense saying reacts to communications. Okay. Now, when it comes to the sex bit, it's crazy because most people think that they know, but they do not know. And um, let me say, well, the fact that a man can have an erection, penetration, and have sex with a woman doesn't necessarily mean that, mean that he knows what he's doing or understands what he's doing. Mm. Most women are left unsatisfied in their marital homes because most men don't even have the time to take their time to take their wives through that process to even make the wives enjoy the lovemaking. Men assume that so long as they are having their ejaculations and enjoying their lovemaking, the women should automatically enjoy it as well. But when the woman is left hanging without really enjoying an orgasm, she also becomes agitated and would insult you because then she feels she's about to get that feeling and then you truncate it. And it's very, very annoying. Very, very annoying for the women. And this also makes the woman angry. So most times you see a woman who is at work and she's so, so angry with other people. It's simply because the husband is malhandling her, not allowing her to have the sort of fun that she also wants to have. And most women then retire into dutiful sex. The husband wants it, so he just lies down for the husband to do it. And then the husband won't have fun, won't enjoy it. And the husband will now start chasing up. But eventually, if this same man stays with that woman for a number of months, that same thing would, would come back. So there's a need to, to deal with that. You women normally are not like men. No. Men are, 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 are fire. Women are like water. Men are fire. Women, women are, are like water. water. <laughs> when you see a man, he mm. sees a woman, he sees the fine parts of the woman that he admires. Mm. Immediately, he has an erection and he's ready to fire. And eventually, all he does is put the fire in water. And once you put the fire in water immediately, it will quench your fire. Mm. But it takes time to warm the woman up. And if you take your time and warm the woman up and her temperature gets close to yours, then when you insert, both of you are hot and you are not quenched immediately. So men should understand this, that immediately you get an erection and you are fighting, you are anxious to penetrate. Immediately you penetrate, you ejaculate and that's it, game is over. And then some people, three days, four days, no erection. You get that? So you need to prepare the woman. And men need to understand that it takes a woman between 15 minutes to 20 minutes to move her into her orgasm zone. And if you are unable to take a, man, a woman 15 minutes, 20 minutes into her orgasm zone, work you have done is zero. Because then you have wasted a woman's time, you have wasted your energy, you have just had an ejaculation and just thrown it off. You get that? Now, some men also assume that every sexual encounter should end with an ejaculation. Men are unable to have that dichotomy. For the men to, because you rush into engaging into sexual activity with your person, because you have seen fine bad, you've seen fine woman, you just rush into it and you end yourself ejaculating. And when you ejaculate, you find it difficult to even have another erection. I am saying it here, and I've said it many times, there's no drug anywhere in the world that stops premature ejaculations. All you are going to get is a sexual enhancer something that will make you last long but that is not stopping your premature ejaculations once you that drug gets off your system your premature ejaculations will start again great an average man ejaculates 200 million spent for some people 500 million spent mm. but your body is producing two million a day your body is producing two million spent a day and each ejaculation contains 200 million so it means the body needs to accumulate a lot of your sperm to be able to give you that one round of sex. And some guys want to go three rounds, four rounds, five rounds. What you're doing is you are draining your reserved energy. Okay. Now, anytime you have an ejaculation as a man and you are so, so tired, it simply means you have drained your reserves. You have used all your reserves because the epididymis, which is the vein around the testicle, stores up to about 400 million. In some people, out of 400 million sperm is stored in there. And when you overstore the sperm and you're not using it, the body finds a way to get it off. That is when you get wet dreams.
so when you are not having regular sex once in a while you see yourself experiencing a wet dream it simply means the body is getting rid of the old sperm so it can produce new ones I'm telling you it is not spiritual marriage it is not it is just the body's no own way of getting rid of old sperm to do new ones so here if you have a wife and you are able to get the wife into her orgasm zone so she has her orgasms she worships you okay she adores you she obeys you she becomes submissive to you mm -hmm. but if you are unable to do that then it becomes a problem you are always creating agitation in her minds mm -hmm. so it adds up to your communication breakdown and failure and then most men think that i'm the man i'm the one i'm supposed to call the shorts but we should see the women to as equal partners in the relationship so when we blend the communication part we blend the sex part and then we look at the financial area as well where you always want to have sex but you're broke you're always insulting the woman and you don't have enough money to take care of your basic financial needs it becomes a big issue so that's why I'm saying that these three things basically become the core for most relationships breaking down especially marriages mm. Okay, yeah, uh, Mr. Smooth, talking yeah. about the sex, mm -hmm. um, like, when do one have, to, I mean, to, to, to have sex? Or what, what I mean is that, you know, there are some of the men that will just walk into the house and then uh, just quick like that, they want to penetrate. So I don't know if there are some processes of having sex. Like, you start from somewhere, you end somewhere okay um like i'm saying you need to prepare the woman you need to organize the woman mm -hmm. you need to prepare the woman's mind because the woman is water like i said earlier on and she needs a lot of time to get into the the mood get okay. into the rhythm men are fire immediately we see the man yeah. we are we are up there so we may see the, we see the woman we are up there so it takes time before you attempt to penetrate now the fact that a woman is wet doesn't mean she is ready for penetration sometimes we make that mistake there are certain things that needs to be done before you actually enter a woman if you really want to satisfy her the chinese call it the three gates okay. you're supposed to open three different gates on the woman before she becomes really ready receptive to accept you the man and those three gates one of it is a clitoral gate the, the clitoris of the woman is very sensitive. It is made up of about 8,000 nerve endings. And even when you remove the head, when you cut the head of the clitoris, the clitoris has legs. Like that. The, the inner labia. Great. So first of all, you need to give her a clitoral orgasm. And then when she gets a clitoral orgasm, she will remove your hand because that place becomes extremely sensitive. And then you give her a G-spot orgasm. You ask where the G-spot is. The G-spot is located inside the vagina, up the wall, where the pubic hair is, right under it, two or three knuckles inside. You find the G-spot. And it feels like the inside of a towel. It is actually called the urethra sponge. But it was called G because the one who found it is called, a, it was a doctor called Grafenberg. So they named that spot after him, Grafenberg spot. So to, to cut it short, they made it the G spot. And it's one of the most sensitive parts of most women. And when you play with the Grafenberg spot or the G spot, usually a woman will feel like urinating. So in the middle of the act, the woman tells you she wants to really. It is not urinate. It is not really. It is what we call the squirt orgasm. And I'm sure most women are unable to experience it because they feel they are going to be on the bed. But when you allow it and then it comes, it's very, very pleasurable. So first of all, you open the clitoral gate, you open the urethral point gate, which is the G-spot. And the woman herself will ask you to enter. And when you enter, you don't even last long. No troubles. The woman is fine. The desire for man is to satisfy the woman not satisfy yourself because once you satisfy the woman you get to satisfy yourself and the desire for the woman should also to be to satisfy the man because once you satisfy the man you also satisfy yourself don't work too hard at pleasing him or pleasing her just let the groove go allow yourself 
explore yourself, relax and get into it. Basically, that is what it takes. Most women feel very, very uncomfortable, especially when a man is sticking his finger or any other part around that area, simply because of basic infections that they have. Sometimes they have this little odor, discharge, and all those things that makes them feel uncomfortable. I have products that you can use to treat that without necessarily taking a jab, an injection, or a tablet. Products that are proven to work when you have any of those infections. I am here to teach that. Teach you natural ways to control your ejaculations without necessarily using any drug. And my number is there, 244 66 11 Teaching men how to control so they don't prematurely ejaculate. You can call me and then we can get some basic supplements and some basic exercises for you to do to stop this. So when it comes to love making itself, it is a very good exercise if you can continuously stay in the woman 